Hey guys, welcome back to Engineering Box. As I said, I'm back with a new project. See you again in the next video with the next project. So this project will be about uh, thermoelectric refrigerator. And in this video, we'll try to find a solution for a problem in thermoelectric refrigerator. If you have made this thermoelectric refrigerator, then you must know what that problem is. So let's get started. All right, we'll start. Do you know about this? Like if you have made a thermoelectric refrigerator or if you know about Peltier module, then you must definitely know about this. Or if you don't know anything about thermoelectric refrigerator, there are so many plenty of videos on YouTube that you can know briefly about uh, Peltier module and thermoelectric refrigerator. But my problem is like I faced a problem uh, after making this thermoelectric refrigerator. I made this refrigerator uh, two years back and still it is running but since making after one two days I faced an issue that is condensation you can see this right uh, if you don't know I'll just give a basic idea about what is this this is a uh, Peltier module set like this will be the cold heat sink and this will be the hot heat sink in between that we have the Peltier module. So these are the wires from Peltier module. If you give the power supply to this, this will be cold and this will be uh, hot. And there will be two fans attached to this. As you, I'll, as you remove the heat, the more the coldness will be there in the refrigerator cabin. Uh, because we put the cold side inside the refrigerator cabin and uh, place the hot side to the atmosphere. More the heat you remove, more the coolness you will get. So, uh, from basic thermodynamics, we know that if we reduce the temperature of uh, vapor, it will condense, it will change its phase. That means it will con uh, convert from gas to liquid. So, same thing happens here. As this will be cooling, the vapor inside the refrigerator cabin get cools and becomes water and those water droplets will be formed on this heat sink and that will spoil the refrigerator cabin and the surroundings there. So we have to find a solution for this right. So I will show you my refrigerator cabin and then we will uh, I have found a solution for this. I hope it is better if you have anything uh, uh, if you have faced this problem and if you have the solution please let me know in the comment section below so that i'll try that one also and this one also okay so now we'll go to my refrigerator cabin and i'll show my refrigerator how it is and where i have placed this one and then discuss about the solution for this so this is the refrigerator which i want to show you my refrigerator later so this is the worst fridge i have made this is the second version which I have made because of uh, limited stuff or uh, contents I have. So this is the refrigerator cabin. Okay. So actually this is in the sleeping position. Actually this is not the correct way. Uh, this is how it's supposed to be. The door will open like this. Okay. Yeah, so here I'll be keeping the Peltier module, and due to which uh, this is different. <clears throat> due to the water formation, the wood got spoiled. Like water deposition will be over here, and that water will uh, flow to the onto the wood, and it will spoil the wood. So this was a problem I have been uh, faced in the first version, due to which the whole refrigerator got spoiled and a lot of uh, algae formation was there so I removed everything from that and prepared this model. So I will be modifying the solution in the same refrigerator itself. So what is my solution for this problem is to make a hole over here and we already have a hole here. So I will keep the Peltier system outside the box and make the air flow from inside the box and then uh, cool outside and then get back inside. 
so that's my solution so to make that i'll keep a plastic box over here uh, making a hole to this and this and make make them concentric and i'll fix this on the plastic box like inside inside this make making sure that this whole side is inside the plastic box and then uh, i'll seal everything and from here to here i'll attach a pipe and here also there will be a separate box made of thermocol for uh, to get cooling uh, properly and from here to here there will be a pipe connection so that to make uh, so the air will flow so to make the air flow uh, i'm thinking like to put the fan over here or here or both so that's the only thing i'm uh, thinking about where to put i have to use one fan or two fans so otherwise this is the solution so that as the water gets deposited over here i'll attach a outlet over on the plastic box and then that water can be collected outside there won't be any problem inside the refrigerator cabin all right so that's what the solution which i want to make to my refrigerator if you like this solution please give me a thumbs up like and share with your friends if you have any other alternative solution please let me know in the comment section so that i'll get to know and uh, i'll try to i'll try that one also if possible and the, the making and the making video of that solution will be in the next video if you have any doubts or if you want to talk to me directly you can follow me on instagram and facebook there we can connect each other and then have a discussion if you have any other doubts so that's it if you like this video please give me a like and share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe see you again with the same project